Welcome to Anti-Aging Insights, where age is a state of mind and aging is a treatable condition. And now, here is your host, Dr. Terry Fisher. Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Anti-Aging Insights Podcast. Today, we are talking about a different use of Botox. As you will know, Botox is very commonly used for aesthetic treatments, for cosmetic treatments, to deal with fine lines and wrinkles. But there are other uses for Botox. And one of the uses for Botox is for excessive sweating, known as hyperhidrosis. And that is the topic of today's podcast. We're going to talk all about what hyperhidrosis is, how that condition affects people, and then how we can use Botox to treat this. And little spoiler alert here, Botox can be extremely effective for those people that have excessive sweating. And so it is a very popular treatment. It is a very effective treatment. And I want to share some information about that with you today. If you are a person that suffers from hyperhidrosis or excessive sweating, or if you know somebody that suffers from this condition, then by all means, please feel free to share this with that person so that uh, they can learn a little bit more about it and make an informed decision about whether Botox would be the right treatment for them. So let's talk a little bit, first of all, about what is hyperhidrosis. Hyperhidrosis refers to a medical condition characterized by excessive sweating beyond what would be considered normal. Now, there are various places where you can have hyperhidrosis, but the most common affected parts of the body include the underarms, otherwise known as the axilla, the hands, the feet, and sometimes even the face. But for the purpose of this podcast, we're going to be focusing on primarily the axilla, the armpits. But again, we can uh, generalize a lot of what I'm saying here to the other areas of the body as well. Now, this condition can have significant impact on an individual's quality of life. Perhaps if you suffer from this, or you know somebody that does, you can relate to this. But I have had conversations with patients who state that the hyperhidrosis really affects them socially. It causes them social anxiety. It causes them embarrassment. It can cause discomfort in everyday situations. I've even had some patients tell me that they, they avoid wearing certain color shirts because they're concerned that when they start sweating, that people will see the stains of the sweat in their armpits. And this can have quite a profound effect on the way these people carry out their lives. And so Botox for hyperhidrosis is quite remarkable in that it can really have a significant impact in helping these people to live their lives to the fullest and helping them to not be as conscious about what previously was there in the form of excessive sweating. So let's talk about how Botox works and then we can talk about Botox specifically for the hyperhidrosis. First of all, how does Botox help? Well, Botox is short for botulinum toxin. It works by disrupting the messages that are getting from the nerves to muscles, or in this case, to sweat glands. You can think of it as a USB cable between your computer and your phone, or whatever the case may be. Something that is communicating between two different areas. You've got the nerves that are sending signals down, that's the communication, to the sweat glands to release the sweat. And when you have a Botox treatment, that Botox disrupts that communication so the nerves are no longer able to talk to the sweat glands. And as a result, the sweat glands don't produce sweat. They don't get the signal to produce sweat. And so this is a very effective way to obviously reduce the sweat that is produced. Now, when you look at the studies that have examined the effect of Botox for hyperhidrosis, there are in fact numerous clinical studies and research that has demonstrated the effectiveness of Botox for hyperhidrosis. In fact, patients often experience a significant reduction in the sweating after the treatment, and this can last for up to six months. Now, as with every treatment, there is some variability among people and among patients, but nevertheless, it is an extremely uh, safe and effective way to treat hyperhidrosis. In fact, the studies have shown that 81% of patients experience a reduction of more than 50% of their underarm sweating 
and half of the patients get relief for, again, a half a year. So that gives you a sense, an idea of just how effective this is. So what can you expect during a Botox treatment for hyperhidrosis? Well, the procedure involves a small series of injections, tiny needles into the skin. Botox is an injectable treatment and the needles that we use are extremely small. You may have heard me say this before, but the needles are actually similar to what people with diabetes use to administer insulin to themselves. One of the really interesting things about treating hyperhidrosis versus using Botox to treat uh, wrinkles and for aesthetic treatments is that the sweat glands are extremely close to the surface of the skin, which means that the needles do not have to go very deep at all. In fact, it's a very shallow or superficial injection. And while it is a relatively larger place that we have to cover with the needles, that does mean that we have to do a number of needle pokes for the treatment. But because the sweat glands are close to the surface, the needle pokes are very superficial. To give you an idea of the dosing that we use, typically doses for hyperhidrosis, at least for the armpit or for the axilla, is approximately 50 to 100 units per side. So that would be 100 to 200 units total for the treatment. Now, in some cases, it can be a little bit higher. In some cases, it can be a little bit lower. That all depends on the individual. And of course, that's why it's extremely important to consult with a physician or a healthcare provider who can provide these treatments to you. But nevertheless, that would be the type of treatment. We essentially create a grid in the axilla, in the armpit of locations to put these injections. And then we will inject the total dose divided into a number of appropriate injections. So again, it is a number of injections, but these are very superficial injections. As with any injection, there can be a little bit of bruising, but that's very rare with this because the injections are so superficial. And there can be uh, a little bit of uh, discomfort just from the, the small little pokes. If there is any bruising, that goes away very quickly. And generally speaking, the side effects or risks are very low with Botox in this area. So to summarize, practically, what would it look like if you decided to have a treatment such as this? We would have you come into the clinic. We would do a consultation with you. We would learn about why you want to have this done. How is it impacting your life? And then we would map out a plan about what would be the appropriate dose. We would do uh, various things to help minimize any discomfort. We can use ice. We can even use a numbing cream if necessary. Not everybody needs that. It depends on the individual. And then we map out the location of the injections and we simply inject those shallow injections into both of the armpits and that can take five to 10 minutes or so and that's it, you're done. And then it takes approximately a week or so to see the effects and again, typically effects can last for about six months. For those that do truly have their lives impacted by hyperhidrosis, this can be a life-changing experience where they can now go about wear whatever they want, wear whatever colors they want, have that confidence, have less social anxiety, and just be happy to know that they don't have to worry about lifting their arms and others seeing those stains from the uh, sweating under the armpits. So there you go, a short and sweet uh, podcast episode today. I wanted to highlight this treatment. This was top of mind because I happened to be uh, doing some of these treatments this week, and I wanted to share with you a little bit about uh, this treatment. So of course, if you are interested in learning more about the treatment, then please feel free to reach out to me or to any of my colleagues at Anti-Aging Medical and Laser Clinic in Vancouver. Our website is antiagingvancouver.com, or you can always reach me at my personal website, drterryfisher.com, or through my Instagram account, at Dr. Terry Fisher, D-R-T-E-R-I-F-I-S-H-E-R. As always, thank you so much for tuning in this week. It's a pleasure to chat with you again, and I look forward to speaking with you again next week. Until then, take care. Thanks for listening to today's episode of Anti-Aging Insights. Stay tuned to discover more of the latest news, treatments, technologies, and developments in non-surgical cosmetic and anti-aging medicine. For more inspiration, to access the show notes, or to book an appointment with Dr. Fisher, Dr. Frame, or any of the other anti-aging professionals, please visit our website at antiagingvancouver.com. Until next time, stay inspired and live life well.